Hello everyone. Today here I go to solve one of the problems from uh, problem based on bar element, finite element equation of bar element. Uh, the given question is uh, read the question. A steel bar of length 800 mm is subjected to an axial load of 3 kN as shown in the figure. Uh, find the elongation of the bar and neglect self weight. Then uh, first uh, draw the free body diagram of the given diagram. So the diagram is discretized into two elements, that is element 1 and 2 of equal lengths 400 mm. Here the total length is 800 mm. So each element, uh, the length of each element is 400 mm. So there is a three nodes, node 1, node 2, node 3. The load vector is acted at node 3. Uh, here uh, Young's modulus value is given, that is uh, E equal to 2 into 10 raised to 5 Newton per mm square and area A equal to 300 mm square. To find elongation of bar, to find elongation of bar, elongation of bar. Solution the finite element equation of bar element is given by the finite element equation of finite element equation of bar element is given by bar element is given by F equal to K into U where F is the body force vector, K is the stiffness of the element and use the nodal displacement. Therefore, F1, F2 equal to A, E by L 1 minus 1 minus 1, 1 U1, U2 Consider element 1 Consider element 1 So this element is portion that is Element 1 has two nodes, node 1 and node 2. The length of element 1 is 400 mm. And uh, Young's modulus and area of uh, both elements is same. That is E equal to 10 to 2 into 10 to 5 Newton per mm square. A equal to 300 mm square. Therefore, finite element equation for element 1 is given by F1, F2 equal to A1, E1 by L1. 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 u1 u2 then f1 f2 equal to a1 equal to 300 into 2 into 10 raised to 5 by 400 into 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 u1 u2 so node 1 is fixed, then solve this equation, you will get 150 into 10 q, 1 minus 1 minus 1, 1, u1, u2, that is f1, f2 equal to. So here we give the one reference, because here uh, for element 1 node 1 and 2, therefore here I give 1, 2, 1, 2 and consider element 2. Consider element 2, the element 2 is, is this element 2, node 2 and node 3, the node 3, the point node is at, that is 3 kN, the length of node uh, element 2 is 400 mm. Therefore, element 2 is F2, F3, because node 2 and 3, therefore F2, F3 equal to A2, E2, Two by L two one minus one minus one one U two U three A two area equal to three hundred mm square area and Young's modulus are same for both elements. Therefore, three hundred into two into ten raised to five divided by four hundred one minus one minus one one U one sorry U two U three. Therefore, F2, F3 equal to 150 into 10 Q, 1 minus 1 minus 1, 1, U2, 
q3 so here node 2 and 3 therefore here i give 2 3 2 3 next step assemble element 1 and 2 we get the global finite element equation assemble element 1 and 2 we get global equation we get global equation so for uh, before uh, assembly element 1 and 2 make sure the coefficient of two matrix value should be same so here the coefficient of two matrix value is 150 into 10 cube 150 into 10 cube therefore uh, we can uh, assemble equation, uh, element 1 and 2 if the values are different means we are not able to uh, assemble both elements so make uh, the coefficient uh, should be same so here uh, there is no issue because the coefficient of both matrix is 150 into 10 cube therefore we can assemble it directly therefore f1 f2 f3 equal to 150 into 10 cube so here we put number 1 2 3 and u1 u2 u3 here we put the number 1 2 3 and 1 the first element node 1 and 1 1 2 1 minus 1 3 1 there is no 3 1 simply we put the dash and 1 2 minus 1 2 2 1 and uh, come to the second element 2 2 1 therefore here plus 1 and 3 2 that is minus 1 3 1 there is no 3 1 therefore simply we put a dash and 2 3 equal to minus 1 3 3 equal to 1 and uh, simplify it finally we will get f1 f2 f3 equal to 150 into 10 cube 1 minus 1 for dash simply we put 0 minus 1 2 minus 1 0 minus 1 1 u1 u2 u3 then uh, next step apply boundary conditions apply boundary conditions so here the boundary condition is you know it is clearly shown that is node 1 is fixed therefore u1 equal to 0 u1 equal to 0 because node 1 is fixed second one f1 and f2 equal to 0 because here neglect self weight therefore f1 and f2 equal to 0 because in this question neglect self weight self sorry, neglect self weight then f3 at the node 3 there is no point load is at 3 kilo newton therefore f3 equal to 3 kilo newton that is equal to 3000 newton apply all the boundary condition in the global equation you will get apply all the boundary condition in the global equation you will get 0 f1 0 f2 0 f3 equal to 3000 150 into 10 raised to 3 1 minus 1 0 minus 1 2 minus 1 0 minus 1 1 u1 u2 u3 u1 equal to 0 u2 u3 so here u1 equal to 0 therefore here we go to strike out first row and first column first row and first column and this matrix form is converted into the simultaneous equation form and solve the above and solve that equation finally you will get the value u2 and u3 that is nothing but the elongation of the bar therefore 2 into 
2 into 150 into 10 cube u2 minus 150 into 10 cube u3 equal to 0 and next one minus 150 into 10 cube u2 minus 150 into 10 cube u2 plus 150 into 10 cube u3 plus 150 into 10 cube u3 equal to 3000 solve this above two equation with the help of calculator first press mode three times one two three and press one for equation and there is two unknown value that is u2 and u3 therefore press press 2 a1 equal to 2 into 150 into 10 raised to 3 u b1 equal to minus 150 into 10 raised to 3 c1 equal to 0 a2 equal to minus 150 into 10 raised to 3 b2 equal to 150 into 10 raised to 3 c2 equal to 3000 therefore u2 equal to 0 0.02 u3 equal to 0 0.04 solve the above equation you get u2 equal to 0 0.02 m and u3 equal to 0 0.04 m result elongation of bar u1 equal to 0 u2 equal to 0 0.02 mm u3 equal to 0 0.04 mm thank you